Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading now. This is for August 21st through the 27th. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. We will see what comes up. I wasn't going to do the weekly readings, but due to the requests, I have decided to do it. What do you have for Capricorn? August 21st through the 27th regarding love. This is supposed to be a quickie. <laughs> The last two didn't turn out to be so quick, so we'll see what happens. I have to go with however long it is, but it's intended to be a quick reading. Alright, so this is the week of the 21st through the 27th. It looks like you're still pessimistic about a situation. Perhaps you feel like there's some kind of secret somewhere. Maybe you're keeping a secret, but there's some pessimism going on. And I think maybe there's even been some power struggles. Um, I feel like you, you are really trying hard to keep uh, remain in control of a situation is taking some willpower it's taking some strength I think that you are being very um, uh, poised at this time you know and it, you've been really um, keeping it together over you know and there could be some like um, diversity of some sort or whatever some there's some kind of issue but you're you're keeping it together very very well even though you you know you might have some doubts about it or whatnot maybe there's some secrets going on I think that there's something that is going on for sure and um, you've been waiting for the truth to come out you have been waiting for the truth to come out and I think that finally whatever this is because here you are waiting and this is the truth okay the truth is coming out and it's what you've been waiting for and it causes some it might you know um it might cause you to it's going to be the answer to what you've been waiting for anyway it's going to be the answer to your wish because that's what you've been waiting for something to come out the truth about something but it's also going to cause you to start a healing process all right um, because you're going to be able to let something go, whatever it is. Some, some kind of emotional attachment is going away, okay? Because you're going to start the healing process. Some truth is going to come out that you've been waiting to hear, which you probably already knew, you know, and it's like it's been a secret and you've been waiting for it to come out and finally it is, it's going to come out. You've been pessimistic this whole time. You've just been waiting, you know, like whatever, when is this going to happen? But I know it's going to. And now finally the truth is going to come out and you're going to start to move to a more peaceful spot in your life. You're going to, wherever there was struggle, you're going to be moving away from that. Thank God because of how you ha you're handling the situation. It looks like you're handling it very, very well with a lot of tact, with a lot of gentle ease and poise. And, you know, you're just handling it with love perhaps, um, which is amazing. But yeah, it sees... I see that you're leaving something behind that was you were emotionally attached to that was probably um, causing some tension. It was causing some tension and, and some imbalance in your life. But this the balance is about to come back. By the end of the week, you should be feeling pretty balanced and you should be feeling like things are finally the way that you want them. It looks like, you know, there's going to be things are going to take a brand new path okay the worst is over whatever this is that comes out it starts a cycle a new one okay where that's it's going to be over with any struggles that you've been going through it probably there's been some secret that you've been waiting to come out the secret's going to come out you know then the struggle's going to go away you're going to handle it very well 
you know, and now it's time to move on to something else. So that's that's all there is to it. This is a major transformation. This is the death card. When this happens, it means that something has ended. Okay, so one struggle of your life is going to end. And then, you know, this is the Empress card. It moves to a more loving, nurturing, caring point in, in your life, you know, where you're feeling very giving. All right. Um... Your wishes, whatever you've been wishing to come out is going to come out. Whatever you've been waiting for is going to happen, all right? Whatever you've been wishing to become known is going to come known, all right? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring balance back to your life after a period of tension. That's all there is to it. Um, it's been blocking you from offering love. It's been like there's been power struggles, and I think that love has been behind the scenes. You know, love has been behind the scenes because there's been some, you know, oh, what's the word for it? Um, angst. You know, you've been waiting for something to become known, and finally it is going to become known. That's all there is to it. I mean, that's what I see. This is my after tarot. This is intended to be a love reading. So, you know, I don't see... I Like I said, I think love has been on the back burner because you've been waiting for something to happen and something... This is what this week is about. Something is going to become known that perhaps was a secret. You know, and you but you really knew about it. Your intuition told you what it was. And because it becomes known, it brings peace and harmony to your life. That's all there is to it. Um... And it's, you've been waiting. This is your wish. You've been waiting for this to come out. It finally comes out. And harmony comes back. Now this is a seven day period. So this is perfect. I mean something significant should happen. Should. This will not resonate with everybody. Something should become known that you've been, that you know. That you knew was going to become known. And it's going to start, it's going to heal. It's going to heal something. This is the truth. This is the truth. It's the secret. Yes, it is. Okay, and there it is again. So this person could be a Leo in your life. Maybe this this person that you're having a power struggle with or this secret you're waiting to come out could be with a Leo because we have it twice. You could receive the truth from a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, okay, or a Scorpio, or those those people could also be the other person that is involved in this truth, okay. Um, we have Libra a couple times. Yeah, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well, but this is... Um, This is love right here. He's dumping out the love. He's sharing the love, giving the love, or getting rid of the love. You know, so it all depends on the situation. I feel like this is some. This is leaving something behind, okay? Something that you're emotionally attached to, okay? The truth comes out and you leave something you're emotionally attached. And the same kind of thing. Emotionally attached to. Behind. Okay. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be a thought. It can be a thing. It can be. Who knows what it is. But it's, it, it's concerning something that came out. Okay. And you're going to just walk away from it. With tact. Yeah. <sighs> The truth is about to come out. There is no doubt about it. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth. Something that somebody thought was a secret is no longer going to be a secret. Okay? It is going to come out. All right? And there, you know, it's going to come out. And the, some burdens that have been being carried around because whoever knew about this has been carrying this on their shoulders. Okay? And wishing for it to come out. And it is going to come out. It is. And it's going to provide healing. No matter what. You're going to heal in the outcome. Alright. It's going to it's gonna provide um, a release of tension. 
you know you're gonna let go of tension it's gonna tell it's gonna have you you're gonna end up acting in a more caring and nurturing way but you are absolutely definitely leaving something behind okay and it could be a person okay it could be a person because we have the eight of cups twice all right and perhaps there's another choice there's more choices all right but the thing is is you have to be open to other choices because here is a miss op missed opportunity a missed opportunity in love or an, and it doesn't have to be a missed opportunity it could be somebody you missed the opportunity with you in love okay because they didn't give you the love that you were seeking that could be the truth there's some kind of truth that is going to cause you to to uh, leave something behind something that you are emotionally attached to but there is other choices okay there is there's other choices in love if you choose to see it if you choose to see it I don't know what this is but I'm sure that you can figure it out all right I see that some heavy burden is going to be released and it's gonna start a new life for you it is it's gonna start a new chapter of your life it's all there is to it okay something is going to come to light and if it isn't this week it could have already happened or it could be a month out okay that's what I like to say my when I usually do my readings when I do personal readings I usually judge them for about a month so generally my readings are for about a month you know what I mean? But this is for the week of the 21st through the 27th. That's what I said. That's what I concentrated on. That's what I mean it to be. But this may or may not resonate with everybody because there's thousands of people. All right? And I can't possibly read everybody. It's just the way it is. So um, if it resonates, great. I hope it does. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Um, talk to you soon.